Easy Show, where you connect with the stars. Life is hard. Kevin Ryan and I'm doing it the easy way. Experience celebrities up close. Life is hard. That's why I wrote Meet the true personalities of Hollywood's greatest. Everybody stand up for easy. Cause I'm not trying to kiss a dude like, hey, what's up, dude? Hey. <laughs> Easy takes you to the heart of the celebrities. There's only one way to do it. The easy way. Get it, Bailey. Let's do it. We out of here. Peace. Welcome to another awesome episode of The Easy Show. I'm back once again, guys, ready to do it the easy way. I am excited. We have a really special guest that's going to be coming on at the end of the show. His name is John Marshall Jones. And if you look at his IMDb, he's, a, he's done it. He's done it all. He's an actor. He's a producer. And he's got, we got a video. Let's, check this out. Check this out. It's called Sweaty Booty Cheeks. You ready? That's, that's going to be crazy. And, of course, we got our Easy Way Angels going to be doing some uh, cool talent situations for you. So I want to introduce you guys real quick to the app, as I've been telling you. And you guys have been hitting me up, and you've been asking me what the app does. So this is the Easy Way app, Eric Zuli. You can uh, download it on your Apple or your Android. Here's what the main focus and the coolest thing of the app. As you guys know, I am a connector. That's what I do. I've been doing it for a long time. I love connecting people. I love knowing that the easy way is a part of people's dreams and I make the success come true. So here's, what's it? There's a thing called fan wall. You see that? Wait. See right there in the middle? It says, well, you can't see it. Too blurry. But it's called fan wall. And it's like a mini social network in an app. And what it is, is it's a really awesome experience, the easy way, but wait, I'll go into that in a second. It's a, a thing where you can connect to the celebrities that I might be interviewing on the show. If you want to meet a producer, if you want to meet an investor, if you want to meet a model, if you want to meet an agent, whatever, you can post on this fan wall, and then those people which know me and do it the easy way may connect with you. You see how that works? It's pretty cool. So check out the app, Eric Zuli app, uh, for Apple or Android. And uh, behind me, you guys see a, a new thing we're doing called Experience the Easy Way. And, oh, I, I knocked down, check this out, guys. We need to pay the bills. See, see where it says your ad here? Right there is your ad here. We have to pay the bills to keep the lights on. So this is a, a real good thing. And if you're out there and you're an advertiser, uh, please advertise with our show. It's a nationally syndicated show. We're on Open Vision Networks, Channel 28, uh, Fan TV, Backstage Access Magazine, Music That Pays Magazine, and we're talking to some really cool situations internationally. So this does get out there. It's on Actors Reporter, Actors Entertainment, over 5 million viewers. I promise you, you're going to enjoy the leads that you generate from the show. But experience the easy way. Check it out, guys. Every, uh, every month, we're going to be doing an event. Uh, that connects people live, interactively. So you got the app, you connect digitally, and then you go live, interactive, you meet people, and, and we're going to have awesome performances and just great people to meet. So it's called Experience with the letter X, Experience the Easy Way. You can go to Experience the Easy Way fans page, and we're just taking interaction to a whole nother level. So we're going to have, uh, next up, our Easy Way Angels doing their thing, and tell your friends about the show, do it the easy way. We'll be right back. From the streets of Havana to the power centers of America, Havana Watches. Find watches exclusively for you. Stylish, sophisticated Havana Watches for men and women. For your life. Your lifestyle. Backed by our top-to-bottom one-year warranty. Experience HavanaWatches.com Havana Watches. Find watches exclusively for you. Um, Easy Way Angel, also known as Minnie Mouse today, hopefully. <laughs> and we've got Sonia over here. Hey guys, Sonia Harley, how are you? So I wanted to talk to y'all a little bit, because um, I'm thinking about doing a little bit different voices, but it's up to you guys out there, the fans, to let me know what it is that you want me to do. I mean... Yeah, I think they should let you know. Like, maybe I think so. Then you can, you can deliver whatever voices that they want. Maybe we could even do a challenge or something we like that. We could do a challenge. They can challenge Already you and like sit out. in a little <gasps> clip of them oh, doing I a like voice. Oh, I like this. Let's yeah. do this then. Minnie Mouse here, but next time. I mean, who knows who it could be. So, you guys come on in, bring in whatever voices you think you want to challenge me on or that you want me to try it on the show, and I'd be more than happy to do that. So, let's get it started. And Sonia, you. that. You, you heard that. She's going to challenge you guys. You guys challenge her. The angels are in the house. And I me what? 
And you, okay. Yes. So this girl, I don't know if you guys are aware, okay, but we have an Easy Way Angel who is able to seriously, seriously sing. So would you mind doing I don't this know. for us? Should I? Maybe. I think she should. Do you guys should. feel like smiling I think today? She should. If you do it the easy way, you're gonna have a big smile on your face. Okay, here we go, yeah. We'll do a song called Smile. <laughs> but I wanna see all of you guys put your hands together like this, even though. Sonia Harley, and if you want to write a song and send it in, maybe we'll do that song on the show. Ooh. Never know. I'm liking this. The guys. Easy Way Angels have a lot of challenges. Oh my going gosh, on we right do. Now. Let's go, guys. Let's Bring go. it in. Let's see. Let's Bring see what you guys in. have. Come on. <laughs> Bring it in. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> What's going on, guys? I was just uh, making sure that uh, John was holding my app correctly. All right, so we're back at <laughs> the Easy Show. Uh, I want to welcome my good friend, special guest, John Marshall Jones. <laughs> welcome to the show, John. Appreciate it. What's happening, Easy? How you doing? Hey, you guys. Um, Easy was just explaining to me uh, what a really cool app this is. So I'm downloading this app. You should download, and we can keep in touch. All right. I appreciate that, sir. I'll, I'll take my phone back. All good. <laughs> I'm glad I can put the phone down now. So I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, John Marshall Jones, guys, as you know, he was, he was in White Man Can't Jump. He, he was in uh, a major TV show that went all over the world through Disney and Nickelodeon. Uh, you guys will remember a show called Smart Guy. He played the dad. He's uh, the smart guy. Smart guy. Do, 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 and then you're also in Heart of Dixie and then I'm the uh, CW. I'm on Heart of Dixie. Or is it Warner Brothers or C CW? Uh, this right? year I did uh, The Crazy Ones. 
Pretty Little Liars. Ooh, I love that. Uh, yeah, Heart of Dixie. Uh, recently did Dexter Bones. Did Boston Legal? Did I have a, I have a game Bones. for you? We're we're gonna, we're gonna go into uh, all everything that you've done, but that's that's so um, uh, perfect when you say Pretty Little Liars because my angels are pretty and they lie and. <gasps> Way. But they, <laughs> they they lie when they say that they're not talented and they're not beautiful. But okay, so yeah, let's 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 get to know you a little bit, John. Uh, you know, like uh, you're a b pretty big actor, you're a producer. I know you're good friends with a lot of people at Nickelodeon, and and uh, I mean I'm not gonna put everything out there, but I've known you for a while. So so uh, let's have you tell our fans, you know, who you are and how how it got started. Well, here's the main thing. Um, I started, you know, 20 25 years ago. Uh, coming out of school, went to Northwestern University, um, did a lot of really good, cool stuff there. And then came out in Chicago, started doing theater in Chicago, started doing stand-up there. Ran into John Cusack on the street one day when he was casting a film called Tape Heads. And he said, do you want to come down and audition? I said, sure. And 30 days later, I was flying to L.A. And then when I came to L.A., I've been working kind of straight through ever since. And I've been one of the fortunate people because they can pick anybody but uh, they picked me enough so that you know I could buy a car and send my shirts to the cleaner so <laughs> life has been good that's pretty cool I like that buy a car and send, you can get, get a pizza every now and then right? yeah get a pizza every now and then for sure <laughs> So, but and a lot of people that, that are watching the show are, are up and coming actors, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're probably looking at you, going, "Wow, you've been so accomplished in, in what you what you've done." Uh, you know, what was that first break, that first situation, that first interaction, connection? You know, and how did you make it develop for yourself? Uh, the first real connection that I had, I was in Chicago and I was doing a play with a gentleman named Burn Piven, who is Jeremy Piven's father. And uh, Byrne and I got to be very good friends, and Byrne was coaching John Cusack, Joan Cusack, Jeremy, and a whole crew of Chicago actors. And Byrne introduced me to Johnny, and Johnny and I had some great conversation because he had just come out with his first movie. So we had some real interesting conversation about comedy and what was going on and you know what we each expected to happen. So two months later, I come out of my apartment and John is walking across the front of my apartment just at that moment. I say, hey, Johnny. He said, hey, how you doing? We got to talking. He said, look, I'm auditioning for this film tomorrow. You should come down and audition. Divine intervention. And yeah, no, it was, it was really, awesome. you know, that kind of, you walk into somebody on the street. It's, it's one of those things that you hear about that happens, but you don't believe it really does. So here's my take on it. Whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish with your life, don't worry about how it's going to happen, but learn to accept that it will happen if you do what you're supposed to do mm. and get about doing it. Right mm -hmm. And then the rest of it will fall in place. And whether it falls in place today, tomorrow, next week, next month, is not at issue because you're not the master of time. Mm. What you are is the master of right now in your own mind that you'll accept it's going to happen no matter how long it takes. And if you're willing to do that, I guarantee you it's gonna happen for you. Yeah, I agree. Like if you take out maybe and possibly out of your vocabulary and you know it's gonna happen eventually, it will happen. And yeah. uh, you know, you do it the easy way. So uh, th thank you for sharing that story. And uh, so uh, how long have you been an actor? Uh, my first gig as an actor, I was five years old. I played the dove in the Christmas play. Now you gotta tell us how old you are. Okay, I am 52 years old. No. Five to 52, look From five to 52. Now, here's what happened. So, halftime, you know, you're doing the Christmas play, somebody gotta pay, play the cow. So somebody's in the front, somebody's in the back, and it's oh. hot in there. So they unzipped the cow, and we were all sitting around taking our intermission. So when the second act starts, the lights come up, but the zipper on the cow is stuck, so <laughs> nobody goes out there. <laughs> so now when I was a kid, they used to have this card that came on when the television wasn't working, and it said, due to circumstances beyond our control, there will be a slight delay, <laughs> which is kind of how I learned to read, right? So the lights came up, the cow is stuck, I'm in my dove costume, and I walk out and I say, due to circumstances beyond our control, there will be a slight delay. And the audience did this. <laughs> and burst into laughter. And I said, oh, yeah, this is what I want to do. 
<laughs> that, that's a true story. Oh, I can just imagine your team and who your team is and, and working um, with you. No, yeah. listen, the director came. I came and said, who told you to say that? I, said, I don't know. That's what I say on TV. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Honestly, though, if you, it, this, is, this is my advice to you guys. If you are yourself and you don't try to be anybody else and, and you just do you and, and it's, and it's, it's uh, original, because like, you know, when I did my commercial, I was me. I, I, you know, they told me that here's a script and do this, and I just freestyle. And I'm like, hey, you look beautiful and cute, and hey, I, I'm, hey, you're over here, and hey, what a flute, and whatever, 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 you know. And and it, it it was amazing because I got the role, and they told me they're like they're like you are this role, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And and so what do you do to prepare, you know, for for a role before before you get it, or do you let do me, that? Let me piggyback on something you just said. Okay. It's about being yourself. Mm -hmm. So on television, they don't hire characters they hire personalities and so when they're hiring a personality they don't they don't want to have to write new and different stuff for a character every week they want to just write what they're writing and have your personality fit that so that idea of just being yourself and learning to be comfortable being yourself when you've got a script in your hand is a really really important transition from where you are if you're doing acting on a stage to where we are if you're doing acting in front of a camera. It's really important to get the idea of being comfortable being yourself with the script in your hand. Mm. It, this, one, this one will serve you well when you come out here. So now, your question I, was... I am not even kidding. Everybody's, everybody's jaw in this room is... Ah. Because <laughs> that's, that's such good advice. It, you know, you've been doing this for a long time, and I want to point this out, guys. This is a veteran that's been doing this for a long time. Like he's been acting, he's been producing, he's learned the business, and we, we really appreciate your time and, and the actual advice that you're. I mean, you're giving really good advice right now, so so the audience is probably very happy. And yes, that is my commercial we were talking about. And watch as I slam into some rocks, and and the beautiful girls, the guy with the axe body spray gets the girls. Bam! But, I see you just got some panties on your head. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Watch the, that, y'all. You know the power of the easy way? It's really cool. If you put panties on your head and you say we're doing it the easy way, uh -huh. people will put panties on their heads, they'll take pictures, they'll put it on Instagram and Facebook. It's crazy. That's how strong the brand is. No, okay. All right, so we're going to go into a little game. Yes. It's called Do You Know Your IMDb? And you got a long Backwards history. Backwards and forwards. Really? Okay, well, here's what, how it works. You cannot look at that screen at all. Challenge accepted. In fact, I'm going to even play, uh, I'm gonna just, this is what I do off the top of the head. Can I get Stephanie, our beautiful angel, to come down and, and, and stand behind uh, John Marshall Jones? Stephanie, come on up Stephanie, here. Stephanie, come on down here. Stephanie. Come on. Come Stephanie. On. There she is. There's oh. the beautiful Stephanie. Here's okay. what I want you to do, Stephanie. We're going to play, we're going to, behind you, we're going to be showing your IMDb and your credits. Stephanie is going to hold your eyes. She's going to put her hands on your eyes. And we're going to say, we're going to, we're going to oh, go from the, from, this from the. just <laughs> keeps getting better, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. So what, what John's going to do, guys, is he's going to try to mention, see how well he can do it uh, from the beginning of his first project to where he is now. And this is called Do You Know Your IMDb? Stephanie, if you would please. Pepper, right. if you would please show those uh, credits. Okay. Here we go. Drum roll, please. And your first project is, sir, go. It's a movie called Screen Test. Screen? Okay. Is that right? Yes. He's got the first one. All right. Next. Crime Story. That's it. Oh, I saw that. Is it Crime Story? Yes. All right. There it is. Next. Okay, well, I have to find it. Tape Heads. <laughs> What is it? Tape heads? Tape, tape heads. heads with John Cusack and Tim Roth. You Rock. missed one missed and two. two. You actually missed yeah. two. Yeah, uh-oh. <laughs> I didn't miss them. I know what I did. <laughs> <laughs> now, IMDB might have put them in the wrong order. Okay. But right after I did Crime Story, I came to Los Angeles to do tape heads. And okay. that's what I did. <laughs> next. IMDB. All right, all right, all right, all right. Next. Next. What, what's the next one? Good Morning, Vietnam. All right, is that, that Good Morning Vietnam? I remember that, okay. All right. And that's with Robin Williams, right? That was with Robin Williams. Nice. nice. And Forrest Whitaker, both Oscar winners at this point. You were the man. All right. Wow. And the next one? Um, Dude. Taking Care of Business. Is it Taking Care of Business, Pepper? No, no, no. Hold on, no. Hold on, hold on. Frank's Place. <laughs> Frank's Place. Frank's Place. Yay. Okay. Doing good. Right. Uh-oh. Was that right? Yes. All right, there it is. Okay. okay, now, audience, you all should know this is going back 20... Five? 25 years. Oh, 25. Oh. All right, so this didn't Amen. Just, this didn't happen last week. 
<laughs> this happened when I was your age. My age? Your age. Okay. What's your age? I'm 26. 26. Good <laughs> lord. Good lord, have mercy. All you right, could what's live the, a whole nother lifetime and still be me. What's, what's, <laughs> what's, the, what's the next one? I'll give you a hint. It's a TV series. It's a TV series. Oh, I watched that one. Shh. Uh, see, Family Ties? Oh, All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next one is, the hint is, it's a TV series. No cheating. <laughs> I'm not cheating. I'm going to have to get tighter uh, on this. Make, <laughs> make, make sure he does not cheat. China Beach. Hey, All right. Yeah, nice. All right. Oh, wow. Okay. And the next one is not a TV series. Oh boy, we're getting into it. Casualties of War. All right. And I, I he's not be, be, he's not able to look. He, you got your hands pretty pretty tight. No, I won't allow it. And the next one? No, her hands smell good too. <laughs> <laughs> you wash you have, your hands every day, don't you? Do you have a girlfriend or a wife no. or anybody <laughs> anybody that you are? I'm just Pissing kidding. Off right now. <laughs> Yes, there are there are thousands of women around the world that are actually very angry with her right now. <laughs> I won't uh, name any it? of them, but they're there. Trust me. Won't name them. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> All right, what's the next one? Uh, TV series or movie? It is a movie. Looks like is that a movie, Pepper? Uh, it might be a documentary. Drama. Uh, shooter. Nope. Mm -hmm. W H. You get two two. W H. Two, two, two chances. Initials. Uh, Initials are W H. Word, and and I, I call the studio a home, and you are welcome. Oh. <laughs> Let me see. I feel bad for him, man. Welcome home. You got no way. Okay, so so we're gonna go. We're, we're gonna go for too many credits. We can't go. Too many credits. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna go from 2012 and and up. What are your main your your favorite most favorite projects that are? Uh, too many. Let's see. Yeah, he's the man. Um, Start from the what's, what, what's your what's your what's what's your five most recent? Uh, five most recent would be. Uh, Crazy Ones, okay. Heart of Dixie, okay. Pretty Little Liars, yep. Glee, what else, what else, what else, what else, Eagle Heart. All right. All right. All right. You can, you, can, you can give him his eyesight Yay. back. Yeah, no, you can stay right there. <laughs> You don't have to move at all. One the hand guess, here, one hand there. The guest moves best. That's, that's a good idea. What's that? S Sonia. Yeah. Can you come and I love I love the massage while we're doing the show. That's, oh, a, that's a really good idea. One hand there. I love this show. Are you masseuses now? There we go. Oh God. Booty clap. So you have you have you have a you have a, a new a new project a new project. That works. That works. So you have a new project, and it's called yeah. Sweaty Booty Cheeks. Oh my and you are now. Mind you guys, he is a comedian. And he's been doing it for a long time, and that is him right there, with Sweaty Booty Cheeks. Tell us about this. <laughs> There's Elvis. Oh <laughs> what am I seeing? Well, you know, um, I have a uh, a whole career of really mainstream kind of stuff, and so when I'm in between <laughs> those projects, I like to do different things. <laughs> So I did a project called Guest at Central Park West uh, a few years ago in New York and won Best Actor for that. And it was a very serious kind of piece. So, so you get a team up with Lonely Island? With Lonely Island? I don't know. No, I've never heard of Lonely Island. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is that? The Captain Jack Sparrow, the, the guy from... Uh, okay, well, we'll get to that. Let's go back to your project. So, so this was a um, this was a award winner in um, in New York. It swept the African American Theater Awards. Congratulations! And uh, and a very kind of serious piece dealing with homelessness and PTSD and and the the difference in social expecta expectations between the upper class and the lower class. And it was a, a very heady political piece. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to do something really different this next time and so you know I got a little chance to put my musical talents down <laughs> and I thought what would I like to sing about? Yeah, I, uh, I know, I, I know the audience. Booty cheeks. I know the audience wants to hear this. You can't just see this without hearing this. So, so, can, can we... Oh gosh, I need to move out of this. Oh, we, we're we're not, well, that's all right. If we're not ready for it, it's, 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 it's okay to... I'll watch that all day long. I don't really I know. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so, what made you come up with the idea of Sweaty, sweaty Booty Cheeks? I was, uh, I, was, I was drinking with a group of musicians. <laughs> obviously. Oh, <wow>. And obviously. <laughs> and they were talking about the demise of the music industry and how people don't use real musicians anymore and, and the, the craft was being lost and it was a really... Hey!
deep and interesting conversation. And so I got up, I had to go to the bathroom, and when I got in there, I thought, what was the most ignorant thing I could think of right now? That's why they sweaty booty you. cheeks, sweaty booty cheeks, sweaty booty, sweaty booty, sweaty like booty this. cheeks. I rock them beats cause it make them cheeks go black, ba ba black, ba black, ba black. I rock them beats cause it make them cheeks go black, ba ba black, ba black, ba black, booty clout. <laughs> booty clout. Black cheeks, white cheeks, sneaking out of night cheeks, peeking out the bottom of your daisy duke and bike cheeks, stretching out the spandex, trying to make my car red, keeping them legs flying, giving you what you like. Small cheek, fat cheek, she got the gap cheek, jiggling like it's jello when you hit it from the back cheek. You want the tight cheek, cause you like cheek, keeping them legs flying, giving you what you like. Sweaty booty cheek, sweaty booty cheek, sweaty booty, sweaty booty, sweaty booty cheek. I rock them beat, cause it make them cheek go. What? I rock them beat cause it make them cheek go. <laughs> Booty clap. I think the angels need to do the dance behind us while you're we <laughs> And so you guys, can, you guys can get a, what's the Facebook that people can follow? Uh, they can follow Biggie Fries as the character. Oh That's B-I-G-G-I-E-F-R-Y-Z. <laughs> now, so you know, some people think Biggie Fries is a serious character. It's not, it's comedy. Exactly. So yeah, yeah so come and have fun. Some people are really taking on, how dare you put all those booties on screen? I have so <laughs> many. Okay. I don't, I'm offended. I know so many like, advertisers hey, you know. and sponsors and people that would want to be involved in this. Now my question is you, I, I was the the king, okay? And, and, and all over South, South, Southern uh, America and I was on the Howdy biggest, uh, you know, right. if, you guys, if you guys Googled the King Axe Body Spray, I was, I was a big oh. deal and I was that exact character. Oh. You are copying me, sir. You are copying me. But Look there's, at that. there's some things about you I just can't reproduce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much for being on the show, man. This was too much fun. We gotta have you back. Easy. We totally gotta have you Sounds back. Sounds great. Sounds great. And so, John Monster right. Jones, guys, look him up. Uh, and on your Instagram, that's Biggie Fries, right? So people can uh, follow you. And that's F R Y Z. Yes, it's B -I -G -G. Biggie Fries on Instagram. Biggie Fries on Twitter. Uh, there's a Biggie Fries page on Facebook, and you guys can come and check in with me and. Let me know what you think, and if you want to talk to Biggie and ask him advice on love, Biggie's always ready to talk to you, baby. Yes, sir. We we gotta dress the angels up, the Easy Way Angels up, uh, with, with Biggie Fry. And I'll be I'll be uh, Biggie Fry's brother, uh, the, the the celebrity listen, cameo. Listen, now <laughs> we're talking. Yeah, Biggie Fry's white milkshake. I'm the brother from now, another. I'm the brother from another mother. Okay. Easy, can we put you in one of those shorts instead? Because I'd love to be your sister in this. Hey. Oh, I don't know if I would have fans anymore <laughs> after that one. But uh, right. thanks for hanging out with us, guys. You're watching the Easy Show. You remember, you can download this. You can watch it straight on your application. It's live. You can go on the fan one, you post your comments and everything, it's really interactive. John Marshall Jones, everybody! Yeah. Tell your friends, catch us next week!